everyone welcome to my channel Kimba's crafts my name is kim and if this is your first time stopping in i thank you for giving me a shot and clicking on my video i hope you like what you hear and see um if you've been here before as always thank you guys for your continued support um yeah so it's been a minute it's been a minute i was on vacay and i'm trying to catch up on life I am trying to catch up on life. So we are going to do a whip and chat. I have you pulled out a little bit just so you can see my setup. Um, I've, I've shown the setup before, but if this is your first time, like I said earlier, then we'll just go ahead and go over all of my things here. I am doing this canvas on a tray tower system. I have two different wooden tray tower systems here. I have this one that's like all large trays and these trays came with the tower system. And then I have this one um, that had no trays that came with it, which is why they're all like kind of a mishmash of tray of different trays, um, just things that I've had, I had, and then a kind um, sub Jen sent me a bunch of DAC small ones. So there's like, I don't know, um, 24 or something on top and then 12 on the bottom. Um, well, maybe, maybe more than 24, two, four, five, two, four, six, 30 on top. Um, yeah, so that's the system I'm using inside here. We have all the extra, extra drills that I didn't feel comfortable pouring into the trays. What I did uh, to let me know if I have extra drills is I went ahead and I underlined in pencil the number here. So that way, once I am done filling it, I can go ahead and erase that and I know that I like emptied my last bag. So that's how I know what's inside here. Um, I have this itty bitty light pad. I actually ordered another one. Um, cause honestly I like larger light pads and I had a, an A2 and it didn't last long and I decided not to order another one, but I went ahead and did, a, I ordered it, I ordered another one. But anyway, so I do always use a light pad. I use these clips to clip my canvas on to keep it in place. Um, this is my trash tray. It's a little Mickey Mouse. This was a gift from Crafting with Susie. Um, so thank you, Susie. And here's my timer. Yes. So this is the pen that I'll be using. This is, I, I showed the wrong pen and I used the wrong pen in the on the first square of this canvas in my last whip and chat. Um, I accidentally used Dragon Spirit, which I got for a different canvas, although it did match this one. <laughs> um, this is Candy Stripe, and this is the one that I got for this. This pen is from Leopard Leather Works, and um, yeah, this is just washi I have in here to keep it from spinning. I have Gorilla Gorilla Putty. Where's my Gorilla Putty? I don't know where it is, but I have Gorilla Putty in my multi-placer and then I have glue dots in my single placer. I do use these metal tips from Amazon. I have this Amazon pen here that has um, just blue wax in it for all of my special drills. Here are the extra special drills that I went ahead and got from DP with sparklers. So I am adding all of these to this gorgeous canvas. And we are gonna work on the last square of the second row. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so this is how I section off as I go down the line, we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ceramic pen knife. You just see that little tiny, tiny, tiny blade there and cut off the cover sheet. Um, this canvas is called Mermaid's Enchantment. It is from Calming Canvas Designs. This is the first square drill canvas that I am doing by them 
The artist's name is Mermaid's Cove. And I have to tell you, I love it. I love it. I love the square drills. They fit together. Now I'm going to pull this up and I just took the cover off. But they fit together so beautifully. Come on, guys. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> um, yeah, very minimum gapping. Look at that tang fish, yellow tang. And you can see all the beautiful sparklers that I have in there. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. And we're going to go ahead and finish that square. I absolutely love this canvas. And it is so much fun to diamond paint. The problem when a canvas is really fun to diamond paint is you don't want to do anything else. <laughs> so that's an issue. That's an issue for me. So anyway, I um, now we're all prepped to do this square. I think I went over all of my things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move your view so you can see and watch me diamond paint the square. Um, we are going to be doing a whip and chat. Whip and chat uh, is when I work on one of my whips or work in progresses. And you can do whatever you want while I chat and talk your ears off. Um, you can work on one of your whips. You can clean do laundry, I don't know, walk around your neighborhood, all the wonderful things. Lay in bed, get ready for, for nighty night. It's late, you guys know me. Uh, it's 11.13. And yeah, I have some updates and we are going to pick the winner. Yes, we're going to pick the winner from the last whip and chat. Uh, if you said the key word in the comments so i will pull out the random comment picker uh at some point during this whip and chat and announce whoever wins the 50 dollar gift card and it'll be to the shop of your choice out of three and those three shops are uh common canvas designs which is what i'm working on bella art diamonds and oraloa um I have a coupon code for Calming Canvas Designs as well as Oraloa. I'll put them in the screen here because I, I got to write these things. I don't know them. And uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, but they're also in the description box below. Okay. So those coupon codes, those two coupon codes you can use anytime. Um, so you can get extra discounts. Okay. All right, I'm going to change your view and we'll go ahead and catch up. All right, I think that's a good view and I think that it's you're in a good position where I um, can kind of get my head where I need it to get, where I need it to go, <laughs> where I need it to get. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think English is my second language like my mom's. I have my coffee here. I actually have some creamer in it tonight because I also have my collagen in it. And yeah, I have been enjoying my collagen in the coffee. Ah, so good. Okay. Let me, let me, I'm going to start. I always like to start with the dark ones. And this looks like a good square because these squares in here were extremely confet. Well, this one was not too bad because all this is the same color, but these squares over here were really confetti heavy. So this looks like a pretty decent square to be doing during a whip and chat. Um, so I hope everybody is having a good week so far. It is Tuesday and I was supposed to, I was hoping to record this whip and chat, um, yesterday but I had a migraine I was out I was down and out for the count um yeah it was it was not fun I slept most of the day so I I, I had a great time we Bob and I had a great time in Florida it was a much much needed um visit we 
realized, because remember I was saying we haven't been out there in quite some time, and I wasn't really sure how long it's been, but um, after talking to his brother, um, turns out we haven't been down there since 2017. That's crazy, you know, considering his mom lives there. Like, I don't know why we haven't been out there in so long, but I feel pretty bad about that. So we haven't seen, um, we, we've seen his brother because his brother uh, flew up for um, the 160th birthday party that we went to, but um, we, have, we hadn't seen his sister since 2017. That's crazy. Um, I, you know, I really don't want to... Um, you know, make that a habit. Like, so I told Bob, we really should make an effort to get down there. You know, once a year would be nice. I don't know if that's, you know, possible, but, um, you know, at least every other year, like that should absolutely be possible. It's not like we travel a lot or we're saving for a bunch of vacations. Like we, you know, that's not us. I can tell you that and I don't like traveling, guys. I don't like the airport. I don't like... And, and honestly, they weren't even busy. And I was not loving it. I was thinking, geez, what if these places were busy right now? I would really hate this. Um, yeah, I just... I don't know. Uh, I... Uh, I actually, um, I actually did a little with uh, kitten chat in Florida. I recorded a kitten chat, but I can't release that yet because, okay. So what I, what I, I, I kitted up my paint gem mystery mystery box. It's the mystery canvases. I, I don't know how many they have now, but I think it's the first set. Uh, one of my subs, Rosie had sent me. Thank you, Rosie. So yeah, I finally got to that. And it was, that's a, Paint Gem's great little, that's the first time I've ever opened, well, not opened, because I did, did do an unboxing on my channel, but first time I've ever worked on a Paint Gem. And what a great um, travel, those are great travel kits, for sure. Hold on. Maybe... Maybe I do need to move you because I, I can't get, I can't really see if I'm lining all the way up here right. Um, hold on. Okay, I think that's better. Um, yeah, so I actually, so I kitted that up and then I worked on it every night. So the plan was, my initial plan was I was going to do, I did a little kitten chat and then I was going to do a little time lapse of each one, working on each one, just a little bit, not the whole thing, and then show you them in the end. Of course, with, you know, warnings in case you have it and you don't want to see them, you know, you could just watch the, the kitten chat part of it. Um, but then I didn't record me diamond painting all of them because honestly I couldn't I didn't have my laptop so the only way I could listen to anything or watch anything was on my phone and if I was recording I couldn't watch anything so I decided um, that I wasn't going to do that so the whole idea of this video that I made down in Florida is me doing a kitten chat and then um, showing you all of the mini canvases when I'm done. I am almost done it. I did quite a few of them down in Florida and then I actually did, I think I did two of them in the airport because we got there so early and I was able to just sit it on my lap and diamond paint and these girls in front of me sitting in front of me in the airport they're like excuse me but what are you doing 
So it's like a craft. It's diamond painting. Um, yeah, they they were just like, they didn't look interested in doing it. They just were like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, um, so I did work on, so I did do a little diamond painting while I was down there. And hopefully I'll finish those soon so I can go ahead and post that video. Um, but I forget why I got into that. The point is what I wanted to talk about was how I am really, honestly, I'm not a big traveler. I kind of knew that about myself, but this kind of sealed the deal. I'm not really into, I don't know. I, I don't know. I talk about a lot of this. I don't know if I talk about a lot of this, but I did talk about like the flight down there and everything. And the, the flight wasn't bad, I guess. I, I don't know. I slept most of the time, but man, was it uncomfortable. I mean, I, I, I don't know who they make these seats for, but it's not normal size people. I feel like, like these seats are just, I mean, I don't know. They're so uncomfortable. Um, I, I just, uh, you really, they really are jam packing you in there. And yeah, I didn't, I did not like it. I did not like it at all, but I'm going on this retreat. And I said to Bob, thank God, because I ha we haven't traveled in so long and I haven't been on a plane in so long and I haven't been in an airport in a while. And I was like, thank God I, I went away with you before I had to do this by myself. <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad that, um, you know, because honestly, I would have been terrified. But now... I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna conquer it like a pro. Um, but it was funny because we got a rental car, which is, it's crazy because the rental car in Florida, I, we got it for like $150 for all five days. We picked it up on Monday night and we dropped it off on Friday morning and it was like $150. <sighs> Um, and you know, we're going to rent, Debbie and I are going to rent one for the, uh, retreat. And, um, I'm looking at the prices and it's like a hundred dollars a day. I'm like, what in the world? Why is it so much more money? It's crazy. Um, it's going to be over $400 to rent a car. And they gave us a pretty decent car. So down in Florida, I mean, it's not like we had a compact. We had a Kia Soul, which was really honestly very roomy and nice. We, we really liked it. So anyway, I drove everywhere because I get car sick. I take Dramamine for the plane and it knocks me out. Um, but I was having some challenges with the, I, t I did talk about this. I was having some challenges with the, uh, with the GPS in this car. <laughs> Um, it just, for me, it just didn't seem to line up right. And so I was constantly off and I'm sorry, but I'm not like when I thought it was like, when it would say 0.2 miles, I'm, I, I'm not a good judge. So I'm like, oh, is, is that this light up here? And he's like, no, it's the next light. And then I felt like. The next time it would say 0.2 miles, 
I'd be like, oh, it's the next light. And then he'd be like, no, it's this one here. And I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> why is this not matching up? Why is it this light? And the, I don't know. I, I, it just, it just wasn't as clear as my Google Maps. And so in my car, like I pull it up on my phone and then I plug my phone in and it pops it on the screen. This car had its own navigation and I just did not feel like I could follow it as well. No, not that I could, I didn't, it's not that I felt like I couldn't follow, I could not follow it as well. <laughs> and Bob's like, um, when you leave for, because uh, he was like, because Debbie asked if I could drive. Debbie, don't worry, I'm not going to get us lost. But <laughs> I, you know, I prefer driving because I do get car sick and stuff, which is why I drove. Um, but uh, I, <laughs> Bob's like, you're going to put the GPS on so I know where you are in case you get, you get lost and you end up in like North Dakota. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It's not going to happen though. Debbie, if you're listening, Debbie, don't worry. It's not going to happen. I am not, I am not that bad. I got us everywhere we needed to go. Um, so yeah, we had a great time. His mom turned 89. We went out to dinner for her birthday and we, we went to this nice restaurant and, um, yeah, uh, Bob and I picked up a cake and brought it to her and we sang happy birthday to her and she ate the whole piece of cake. God bless her. Uh, she loves sweets and Bob's like, this is where I get it from. Cause Bob needs like chocolate after every meal. It's hilarious. So we were talking about that. I was like, he'll put he'll put like a piece of cake right next to his eggs. And Bob's like, cake and eggs, what's wrong with that? And, you know, and so um, when we got home, cause she took the cake home, she sent us a picture of her eating eggs in a piece, of, not on the same plate, but next to, she had a piece of the birthday cake. <laughs> she is so cute. I'm like, yep, that's where she get he gets it from. So, she likes her dessert too. And um, Bob and I did, uh, I'm gonna put a little video here. We walked on the beach and I took a video of the beach. Um, we didn't actually like go to the beach because it was so windy there. It was so windy every day and like even at the pool, we went to the pool once, which I did post a photo on my Instagram. Um, we were at the pool one time, one day. Uh, I think it's, uh, on our date, date day, we uh, went to the gym there and then we went over to the pool. And then after the pool, we got ready and we went out to dinner and after we ate at, it was called the beach house. And we both had fish tacos. They were delicious. And um, it's on the beach. Like we came out of the restaurant and then we walked onto the beach and it was beautiful, but it's just so windy. It was so windy every day there. And we were cold at the pool. And you know, a lot of times the breeze coming off of the ocean is even cooler. So we just, we didn't have towels and, you know, we would have had to rent chairs and all this stuff. So we just felt like it'd be easier just to go to the pool because they had pool chairs and, you know, we just had to go downstairs. We didn't have to drive anywhere. Um... So we just did a little walk on the beach after. And then I wanted to get a sweatshirt because I'm all about sweatshirts and hoodies. So we went and got a, a sweatshirt. We went and got ice cream. Um, 
for dessert. I got a sugar-free ice cream and it was really good. <laughs> and the girl's like, I feel like if they just took the sugar-free off, more people would order it. And they wouldn't even know because it is really good. And it was, it was really good. All right, that's all of that color. Um, but yeah, it was a really good trip. But uh, I can tell you, I was, I think it was just from stress that I got this migraine yesterday because I worked. I don't know if it was the best idea to um, plan a vacation from first day off to last day off because I worked Saturday and Sunday night and then I got home Monday morning and then I only slept a couple hours and then on a plane to Florida and then we were in Florida till Friday on a plane home, got home Friday night. And then I had to work Saturday and Sunday. So, you know, I didn't really do anything Friday night. And then Saturday I went to the gym and then I came home and I just cooked food and packed my lunch and went to work. So Monday was going to be my first day to like try to do things and catch up on my life and stuff. And I woke up, I, I, I started getting the headache at work. And I said to myself, when I go home, I'm going to take one of my migraine pills and go to sleep. Well, I didn't. I don't know. So then I woke up with a headache. That just kept getting worse. And so then I took a migraine pill. And um, then I was out for the count. Then I was dizzy and I was sleeping and... So I didn't clean anything. The house was still a mess. So today, I like, I, I didn't eat very much. I, I was just worthless yesterday. Um, I fell asleep on the couch and then Bob had to leave for work and I just went right back to bed and I don't know. I just didn't do anything yesterday, really. So, I, um, and I took my last, so I was given Nurtec from the, neuro, from my, um, the migraine specialist, but she gave me samples and she gave me other meds. Well, I did take one of the other meds. It's like, uh, it's, it's called like Indomethacin or something like that. And it's supposed to be like, um, like a high, high, a stronger, like ibuprofen is, and said is what I was gathering. Um, so I took one of those that didn't help at all, like at all. Um, so then I decided, okay, I'll take my last Nurtec. I was like hesitant to take it cause it really does help. And I, it was she gave me samples because she said that sometimes it's hard to get insurance to cover it. So she just wanted to see, you know, if, if I liked it. So I'm going to call her office tomorrow and say, Hey, I have no more samples of that. And out of all the meds that I tried, that's the one that works the best. Um, it actually, sometimes it doesn't make me dizzy at all. Yesterday I was really dizzy and I think it's because I let the headache linger for too long or the migraine linger too long that I, I was, you know, messed up. So, but sometimes if like one time I came home and I, and I took it right away and I went to sleep and I woke up and I was totally normal. Uh, and that's what I should have done, but I, I did not do that. And, um, and then I like lost my whole day because I felt like crap. Um, but yeah, I really would like more of this, that medicine because my Imitrex, it helps, but it takes longer and I feel, I don't know, I, 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 it always makes me dizzy. I was actually messed up today when I woke up a little, like I was really sluggish and like, I still was kind of dizzy. 
I think it was a, a lot of it was stress from, you know, work to travel to, and then on top of it, guys, we had to do our taxes yesterday like idiots. I mean, I told you I'm a procrastinator. So here we are trying to do our taxes. I have this headache and I'm just like, oh, I hate myself. Why do we do this every year? <laughs> like, do we learn nothing <laughs> ever? Um, yeah, it was horrible. I was so angry at myself. I'm like, I, I just can't stand myself sometimes. All right, let's move on to the next color. This is very color blocky, this one. All right, we're going to do this guy. So we get home and um, I'm cleaning the house today. Cleaned like cr like a crazy person. The kitchen, um, I'm not done the kitchen. I still have to vacuum and then mop the floor and then um, clean the fridge out like and like do a full like take the shelves out wash the shelves off like I'm gonna do the whole shebang and uh, I'm saving that for tomorrow because I did do a lot of cleaning like I um, obviously did all the dishes and then you know anytime I went into a cabinet I straightened it you know, you know how you have the kitchen junk drawer? Well, yeah, I went through all of that. I, I organized that again. Um, organized my coffee bar, uh, my supplement area, organized all of that. Um, and then I cleaned out, you know, like the toaster, the toaster oven, the backsplash, wipe down the front of all the cabinets, um, and I started laundry, I cleaned my shower, because I always clean my shower like right before I get in it. I figure that's the easiest time to clean it. So I cleaned my shower, and then took a shower. Um, I still have to clean the rest of the bathroom, but I was running out of time. Like I, it w I didn't get to the gym until almost six o'clock because I was cleaning so much. Um, I did a lot of like maintenance things, like change the water filter in our in our fil our filter pitcher. Um, I'm cleaning our bedding. And our bed sheets. Um, so I did all that today. Now tomorrow I'm going to do, and I know I'm like sitting here like I got to make videos. Like I have videos to make, but I'm doing everything today that I was supposed to do yesterday because I lost yesterday. Ah. <sighs> Um, and Bob's like, you can't ever just clean. Like when I clean, I always like do more of a deep clean. I don't know. I, I can't just, I can't surface clean. Like I don't feel, um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's done if I just like straighten up. Then I just sit here and I think about the floor's not mopped. The floor's not mopped. The floor's not mopped. That's what's going on in my head right now. Like the kitchen's not done until you mop the floor. Gotta mop the floor. It's crazy. I don't know how to turn that off. Um. And then, uh. I'm sorry, I just heard my daughter come home. Hey. 
Did he fall asleep? Oh, oh, I got to check the blankets. Sorry, guys. I have to wash the bed in stages because Bob's in it so much. <laughs> So she said, I told him, um, you know, I have to, I have to dry the, the blankets. And so he fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> oh my goodness. So every time we go, um, every time we like go out, go into the sun, like at a pool or the beach, Bob does not put on sunblock when we first lay out. He, he says he likes to get his base coat and his base coat, like I will admit he it does turn into a tan, but he always burns. And it doesn't it doesn't he burns, it doesn't peel, and then it turns into a tan. But he looks like a lobster like the first two days. <laughs> I'm like, I always tell him like you you really don't want to burn, like that's dangerous. And I tan through the sunblock. So I, I always put on sunblock, 50 or more. And I still get a tan. I'm like, you're still going to tan. He does not listen to me. So he was like, he was wearing a shirt. And I was like, I said to his sister, I was like, Bob's red, white, and blue. Because his beard was white. I mean, his, his uh, mustache is white. And then his face is red. And he had a blue shirt on. God. So, yeah, we had a good time though. I just love my routine. Like, I was really, I mean, as much as I love seeing everyone, I just really like, you know, my routine. I could not wait to get back to uh, my bed. I, I had a hard time sleeping there, which is why I was like up late diamond painting a lot. Um, not that I don't do that here, but. I did have a hard time sleeping like their bed was just harder than ours and I don't know I just you know like my bed I like um I like my my gym I specifically picked that place because it had a gym and I was like oh I don't have to drive to a gym like I can just go downstairs or not downstairs. I had to go to a different building because it was like multiple buildings in this place. The, the, the I was supposed to take a video of our room. Our room was gorgeous. It literally, I think it was an old, I think they converted a um, old apartment building because they were like two bedroom apartments with two full baths. I mean, a full kitchen. It was gorgeous. We really liked the um the setup. Bob was like, "This this great. This place is great." You know, they had an arcade. They had they. We didn't utilize it, but I mean, it was it was great for the price. It was literally as much, if not cheaper, than a regular hotel. But we had like a full apartment, and it was perfectly located. Like be in between both his mom and his brother, um, you know, very close to the beach. So they, he was like, it's a perfect spot. I did some research, you know, and it, and it paid off. Um, I think we stayed there for like a total of like $700 for all five days. And um, yeah, it, it was, you know, I think it's probably the same price for any like one bedroom condo in a VRBO or, or just a regular hotel room, you know, but we got a full two bedroom, uh, apartment. We didn't have a view, but we had a nice patio that we did sit on every morning. We ate breakfast on it. Uh, I had my coffee. Um, it was just of the parking lot. But it was still, you know, there was palm trees outside. It was still warm. The weather was perfect, except for it was windy. Sorry, this is what I got. Sorry, my daughter wanted to show me some stuff. Um, I, for, I totally forget. I have no idea what I was talking about. But yeah, uh, I totally would want to stay there again. 
You know what was crazy? I mean, their firemen work a lot. If they're if you're a fireman in Pompano Beach, like kudos to you because their they were there were alarms constantly. We couldn't believe how many alarms there were. Like of fire trucks, not just that's the thing. It wasn't just police alarm like sirens. It was fire trucks constantly. Like these guys don't stop. I don't know what was going on if they were a bunch of accidents. But it was like I I Bob and I couldn't believe how many times the the sirens were going off. And one time there was a fire alarm in the hotel. <laughs> um so we think somebody probably burnt something cooking. Uh but yeah, it was crazy how many like eat, like the it was so congested there. It was so congested. We were in Pompano Beach and it was super congested. Um there was construction everywhere which we were shocked about because we have construction everywhere here in Jersey for years. Like there's been construction on the same roads for like 10 years. We, we don't understand why it's never going away, but we also battle with winter. So Bob's like, they get all year long, like to do construction. And then they block off like the whole, like if it's a, like, let's say it's a, four lane highway they only like they block off three lanes and there's no workers for like miles and we're driving and we're like what the heck is this blocked off for and then we finally get to it and it's like I don't know what they're doing but it's like they're working on the last row and there there's like three people and I'm like, why did they, he's like, they don't seem to know what they're doing when it comes to like blocking off for traffic and stuff. They just, they just take over the whole road for like three people. I don't even know what they're doing. And it, it just, it was just weird. There was, there was construction everywhere. There was a ton of traffic. I mean, the stores were super packed, even in the afternoon it was um yeah it was not what i would have thought i guess but i have heard that it's getting very congested there um you know with more people moving into the state and stuff so i guess i shouldn't have been surprised but I, and i also feel like Bob and I live in a retirement community and we, we're kind of, we're not in a congested area at all. So I'm not used to that in general. You know, um, we don't have to travel out into the congested, but I don't know. We were saying we're kind of like sheltered and that's probably why it felt like that. But I'm thinking about it. Like it didn't feel like that when we when I had to drive up to the hospital all the time. I didn't feel like it was as crowded as Florida was. And I was on those main highways. Like the turnpike and all. I don't know. It's very it is very crowded. And then we come home and it's like 80 degrees here. So there you go. <laughs> we brought the weather back. You're welcome. To anyone in New Jersey, we brought the Florida weather. Um, so I didn't feel like we missed anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so glad to be back. I was like so excited um, Sunday thinking about, oh, once I get done work, like I can start getting my, get everything ready and like clean this house and blah, blah, blah. And then I was sick. So 
I need up for today though. So that was the vacation. We had a good time. It was much needed. We're, we we're super happy. Like his mom had moved since we've been down. So we got to see she's living with his sister and they seem very, very happy and comfortable and they got a nice setup. And um, yeah, it, it was very nice to see. And um, we got to meet uh, our nephew for the first time. He's adorable. So it was just, it was, a, it was way too long that we hadn't been down there. Um, see, this is the nice thing about these trays. Like I just saw, I just put this back. But there's one there. I am loving the trays. Although I asked Bob, <laughs> I said to Bob, because I was like filling out that some, some of the tax stuff. And I said to him, oh, I left my phone because I had to take pictures of things and, and email it to him. So I was like, I left my phone on my desk. Can you go get it? And so he brings the phone in and then he comes back to my desk and he's doing something. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, uh, I spilled some drills. I was like, oh my God, I was so upset. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, what do you mean you spilled drills? He's like, it's okay, I got it. He's, he knocked over two of the trays. I was like, how, I just asked you to grab my phone. Like, so yeah, I've learned, um, don't let anyone near your tray towers. <laughs> I think he reached over the tray tower to grab my phone instead of coming around the desk. And his, um, I think his like sleeve got caught on the trays and like flipped them. So he knocked over two of the trays. Luckily it, like when I came in here, I looked on the ground, there were none on the ground. And he was like in here, like, trying to separate them and everything and I was out there doing it and I kept saying just leave it alone I'll get it and he's like no I got it I got it and finally I'm, I came in here and I was like just stop just please stop like he was making me nervous <laughs> like, get away from the tray tower I got it so it, I don't think I lost any like if I did just a few I, I don't know what it looked like when it first happened but um, I looked on the ground and I looked like, I don't know how they flipped, but I don't think I lost very many. I hope, I hope, but yeah. So if you do trays, don't let anyone near your trays for anything because they don't understand how careful you need to be around them. So that was more my fault but I was still upset. <laughs> I'm like, I just asked you to get my phone. Um, then the, the, when we got home, I was like, it's in the medicine. He asked me for something. I'm like, it's in the medicine cabinet. He's like, in your bathroom? I'm like, no, in the kitchen. He's like, that's not the medicine cabinet. I was like, well, what's in the cabinet? He's like, a bunch of our medicine. And I was like, well, then what do you call it? <laughs> do you guys have a medicine cabinet in your kitchen? <laughs> He's like, that's not a medicine cabinet. Well, well, what's in there? Medicine. Okay, then what do you want me to call it? What do you want me to call it? The dish rag, dish rag cabinet? <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, okay, I gotta tell the people about this. This is like the turn right and the left and the left and the right. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like everyone has a medicine cabinet in their kitchen. My brother, he climbed up on the counter in my grandparents' house when we were really little. And, um... 
I don't know. Someone said that he found them in my grandmom's purse. But I remember him sitting on the counter and I'm freaking out. Like, um, because I know my nanny had medicine in her cabinet. And, um, but she did. She used to give him chiclets. My grandmom loved chiclets. You guys remember chiclets? So she always had chiclets in her purse. And she would always, like, we always knew we could ask her for a chiclet. And, um, but I, I think when this happened, I was too little for chiclets. But apparently he was getting chiclets because he either went in her purse or their medicine cabinet in the kitchen. And I remember exactly what cabinet it was. So I guess maybe I wasn't too young because I, I remember exactly where they kept their medicine. But anyway, um, maybe he did go in her purse and he was look and he thought he found chiclets, but they were her medicine. And he had to get his stomach pumped. <laughs> they had to take him to the hospital. They caught him with all her meds. Oh my god. That is scary. Oh, nope, not ready. Just found a bunch of other ones. You hear that clicking? These click. And I pulled this one out a few times and I just saw more of them. And now I lost them. I just saw, oh, there's one. I just saw a few of them though. Oh, there, there's one. All right, I think that's it. So a lot of these are special drills. Oh wait, here's another one of the yin yang that I just put back. Um, so I always try to do all the other colors first. Well, not all of them, but I try to do as many regular colors as I can until really the only way to start distinguishing them is doing some of the special drills. But I don't think I'm going to finish this. I'm going to tell you something. I tried reading that third book of the Court of Thorns and Roses, and I had to stop again. These glue dots, I've been, I've changed it. It's still not, I don't know. Um, and that character made me mad again, so I had to stop. So I listened to the War Breaker. I finished that. And that was really good. The ending was, I feel like, almost anticlimactic. But the, the, the book overall was really good. I, I would have liked the ending to, I don't know, I think be a little more detailed maybe as detailed as the book was the book is very detailed so I think I would have liked the ending to kind of match all the other storytelling that the book had I feel like the ending was kind of rushed maybe I don't know it was a, like a really big build up and then the ending was like really fast does that make sense? And I, I I just didn't feel like it should have ended where it did. Maybe. I feel like maybe it should have. We should have learned more about what happened to. Maybe he's going to make a sequel. 
from what I understand, that's a standalone book. So, um, I don't know. But, oh wait, no. This is the wrong one. Sorry guys, I had to eat. I had to eat because I knew my stomach <clears throat> was going to start acting the mess. Okay, so, uh -oh. um, what was I talking about? Probably nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, um, so I finished the Warbreaker and I was waiting for this book for a while. And so it finally came available. It's called Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. So that's what I'm currently listening to. And so far, I really like it. I'm still waiting for some Colleen Hoover's. I'm, I'm waiting for a lot of books. Um, and a, a lot of them, the wait time is, is like pretty long. But um, I would like some more of that, the, the War Breaker. The author's name is Brandon Sanderson, and I, I want to, I would like to listen to more of his books. So I put holds on those, and it's going to be a minute to get any of those. <clears throat> so that is what I'm currently listening to every summer after, and... So far, it's cute. Uh, I think I'm getting to maybe like kind of like an important part. I'm trying to figure out. I, I don't know what's going on yet. And I thought I was going to figure it out right before I started this video. <laughs> and then it and then no. So that is what I'm listening to now. If you guys have any good book recommendations you can leave them in the comments I always am looking for a good book um, I'm gonna try reading the third book I of um, <clears throat> the court of thorns and roses because I have to keep stopping it because I keep getting mad at this character so I was talking to these girls at work. We actually have like a text thread about about it. And I think that if I read it and not hear the narrator and hear the narrator talk about this person sneering and all this, that I, I think I'll be able to get through it better. So I have a ton of cardio that I have to do six days a week. I'm embarrassed to say how much even, but, um, well, I'll tell you, I have to do an hour of cardio six days a week. <laughs> That's what my coach is telling me to do. So I like physically cannot do a straight hour of standing on this treadmill. Um, or I, I probably will just like walk right out into traffic. I swear. I, I can't. I, I just can't. I'm like, uh, I can't stand it. So what I have to do now is I have to do 30 minutes um, before my lift and then 30 minutes after my lift. Because I, I just, I, I just can't, I cannot do a whole hour. I can't just stand there. Just, no. Just the thought of it makes me upset. Um, so, yeah, now I get to the gym and I can't get right into my lift. So the first 30 minutes feels so much longer than the second 30 minutes. Because the first 30 minutes, I keep looking out in the weight room like, I just want to go out there. And it just, 
today's the first day that I had to do an hour and every minute I was moving my jacket aside to see how long I had <laughs> and it was like oh I still have 20 minutes oh I still have 19 minutes oh I still have like it was not moving at all and um when I, <clears throat> after I finished my lift and I was exhausted, I had to go back on there and do another 30, but that went by quickly. Um, because, I guess because I got out, I got the, the weight lifting out of my system. I was tired. <clears throat> See, that's, that's what happens when you use the Gorilla Putty sometimes. I, I don't know why, but certain ones, <clears throat> like Diamond Art Club, I used the Gorilla Putty the whole time. Well, actually, it wasn't Diamond Art Club because I, I bought a bunch of sparklers. I guess maybe the putty was just older. But I can't use this putty. This putty's kind of new. All right, we are done that. All right, guys, there's no way I'm going to finish all this. So I'm going to pull out the laptop. And where is my laptop? Here it is. And we're going to do the comment picker. I'm going to have to change your view again. And then <clears throat> I'm going to finish this square. And I'll show you guys the first two rows when I'm done. Let me just put this down. All right, guys, I'm going to change your view. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the comment picker up here. All right, and I already went to my video and I got the... <clears throat> the link. So... All right, so... Okay, filter du duplicate users, filter by words. Oh, you gotta pay for that in order to, okay, well, let's go to a different one. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, so here's the link. <clears throat> Fetch. Okay, choose a filter. Anything goes, no. Keyword. Keyword is patience. Include replies. No. At. <clears throat> Allow duplicates? No. Okay. Continue. Okay. There's 110 comments. Mm, we're going to click pick a winner. Diane Webb. Diane, Diane, oh my goodness. Diana Webb. I'm sorry. Diana Webb, 2551. I. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, guys. I apologize. Diana Webb, congratulations. Patience is a virtue. Absolutely it is. I need more of it. But <clears throat> you are the winner. So please email me. Um, my email is in the description box below. Kimbuzzcrafts at gmail.com. It is Kimbuzz with an S on the end of Kimba. So K-I-M-B-A-S-K-R-A-F-T-S, Kimba's Crafts at gmail.com. Okay, and you can choose between the three companies that I announced for your 
uh, gift card. So congratulations. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you everyone for watching and subbing to my channel. Uh, this was a lot of fun. So until the next one, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the square and I'll show you the two rows when I'm done. Okay. All right. I'll see All you right, guys. There it is. Oh man, I am loving, loving, loving this. Her hair is like, don't you want to just put your fingers through it? It's so pretty. And these underwater leaves, wow, look how they're just popping. Like, it doesn't look like that in the, the unfinished part, but look how they're just popping so pretty. I'm so impressed. I just love it so much. And that's the square we just did. But look at the sparkle and the shimmer and the shine. It is so gorgeous. And I'm so excited because this next line, I'm going to be doing her eyeball. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I have to put this aside for a minute though, because I have to um, get my weekly installment in on my spring, um, canvas, but yeah, I am just so thrilled with this one. It is so beautiful. I love it. So I hope you guys like it just as much as I do. I am having a lot of fun doing this one and showing you guys it row by row. So yeah, there, I just zoomed us in a little bit. So that is all I have for you guys. Uh, Diana Webb, uh, contact me, email me. You have a week. If you guys are friends with Diana Webb, if you could reach out to her and let her know that um, she's the winner so she doesn't miss her prize. And yeah, thank you everyone for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kim's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Take care. Keep diamond painting.